Hey guys, alright, we're back in Fusion 360, and today we're going to be drawing up our ball nut. This is a 2005 metric ball nut. And to get started, go to File, New Design. Uh, we want to save this as RM2005 double ball nut alright now the first thing we want to do is go up to sketch create sketch we want to select this back plane here and then the first thing we want to do make a circle so we'll go back to sketch circle center diameter circle and these are 20 millimeter screws so our first circle will be 20 and then there is a little uh, white Teflon keeper and that is about two millimeters So we'll make 22. Okay, let me zoom in here. All right, wait a minute. Let's see. I think that's that's 28. So let me. All right, let's go up to. Let me see what we got here. Go up to sketch. Dimension. Get a dimension on that. Okay, that needs to be 28. So I can just type in 28. There we go. And now we have that the right size. This is the Teflon ring, this area right here. Uh, our next circle will be for our outer diameter, which is 58. Let me double check that. I downloaded a uh, drawing here, so we're looking for A here. And A is, yes, 58 millimeters. Sketch circle, center diameter, and 58. All right. Uh, next, we want to get these flats here, and that dimension is H, and H is 44. So we'll go to sketch rectangle. We'll do a center rectangle and let's do um, 44 hit tab that locks that in and do 44 uh, enter so now let's just square this off go to sketch trim let's trim this line this line just go along, trim the lines we don't need here. Starting to take shape here. Okay, our next item is our holes to mount it. Now those holes are W right here and W is 47 millimeters. So we need to do sketch line and we need to go up half of 47 which is 23.5 All right. And then we need to sketch again circle. Uh if you look right here it's if you're using something a lot, you can just hit C right here. Let me show you what I mean. Just hit C, and now we've got circle. Now this is about 6.5 millimeters. And then I want to go to sketch circular pattern. I want to select this circle as my object. 
I want to select this as my, oops, sorry, clear that. Select the circle as my object and then click over here to the center point. Select this. Uh, we need, let's increase this to, let's see, 9. Let's get it about right here. There we go. Looks like eight's a good number. Click OK. And now we have our holes. Uh, we need to get rid of this so we can hit about right click on that and hit delete. There we go. That'll work. Right click, delete. Alright, so we pretty much have our ball nut laid out. See if I missed anything. Don't think so. All right. We can stop our sketch. Okay. Let's uh, rotate it. So I'm going to select everything, move, and then just rotate it. 90 degrees. Okay, that's better. All right, so now we want to go to modify, press pull. We want to select this area here, here. Hold down control, select both of those areas. And this is 10 millimeters. Click OK, and then turn our sketch back on here. Oh, for, forgot one more circle here. Let's go back down here where it's the sketch symbol. Go to Edit Sketch. I forgot the outer dimension of the double ball nut. Uh, hit C. And that is 35 millimeters. Let me double check. Uh, that is D right here. Thirty-six millimeters. So thirty-six. There we go. Now we can stop sketch. All right, now we want to select this area right here and here. Go to Modify, Press Pull, select those two areas, and we're going to join that with the other body. Let me double check that measurement real quick. Okay, that's 78 millimeters. There we go. 78 uh, overall, the total length there. All right. So there we have a double ball nut drawn up. Uh, one last thing, let's go ahead and put the ball screw in there. So we want to go to Modify, Press, Pull. We want to select this center area here. And we want to go two-sided. Uh, we can do it symmetrically. Uh, this will be a new body. Okay. That's good. The dimension doesn't really matter. Uh, you can make it as long or as short as you would like. Click OK. And let's finish it off with Create Threads. Now I didn't find any actual Acme lead screws. So the best is to use is these Acme screw threads. 
and it's not accurate but it gives you the appearance of the correct ball screws all right so there you have a REM 2005 double ball nut so let's conclude this video and then in the next video we will actually start working on our ball nut couplings please feel free to make suggestions ask questions and leave comments please subscribe to the YouTube channel thanks for watching and most importantly be safe